My name is MK Serwick and I'm a nurse and a comics artist. I started using comics as a tool when I was working as a staff nurse on an AIDS unit back in the days when there were no other drugs except AZT and so it was a pretty tough time and I found that um, writing was failing me kind of like writing to process my experiences was just failing me and drawing alone wasn't quite working and one day I literally just put the two together and made a comic and much to my surprise I found that it was really really helpful for processing difficult experiences and things that were confusing and complex and so that was in about 1999 2000 and I've been making comics about anything I've dealt with ever since and thinking a lot about them I think comics you know through their history had somewhat of a uh, reputation as being lowbrow, but I think that's really changing. I think we're in a moment of change, and we've seen uh, graphic novels on very serious, um, very scholarly subjects. Um, I think it's a very quick transition when people think, people have preconceived notions about comics, and one of them is that they're just about superheroes or they're just for kids, but I definitely see that changing, and I've had people just say that within the first three minutes of seeing the kinds of examples that I'm going to share, that their mind is completely blown and they had no idea that comics like this are out there. And not only are they out there, but there's thousands of them. My short answer is I think everyone can benefit from thinking about the ways comics can be helpful. Um, specifically though, in this context, I think teachers who want to have their student, students learn to integrate information in new ways but also anyone who's struggling with an issue or a question or a problem, I would like to propose that drawing is an incredible way, if you haven't already thought about addressing your question or issue or problem in drawing, that it's definitely worth trying. And so to bring that to the service of teaching and doing science and learning about science, I think is really powerful. Graphic narratives improve teaching because both in the reading of comics and in the making of comics, you're processing information on different levels in a stepwise fashion. And the, the grid of a comics has that all built into it. And you're processing information in text and visually, which excites different pathways in your mind. And I think that is just getting at all of what we're trying to do when we teach, which is to um, be appealing and exciting, yet also really kind of have an implicit learning experience where people are learning and I think that's possible as I said both with making comics and with reading comics. Linda Berry who's a great cartoonist and great influence on me um, she always said that comics are a transportation medium and it's really really true. Um, comics can take you places literally. Um, I've been involved with the graphic medicine community and have traveled all over this country and in other countries and sometimes I just stop and look up and say I am here because I drew a comic and it's literally true and that's really powerful and I really appreciate that. <laughs>